This week, I'm going to lead you through a short morning practice. We're going to focus on moving the spine and getting the shoulders, the chest area open and moving. Let's get started. For this week's practice, you don't necessarily need any props, but we're going to do the beginning and the end of the practice in a seat. So if you like to use a block for your seat, then you could have a block or a pillow for your practice. But other than that, we're not going to use any props. When you are ready, we're going to come sitting on the mat and you could, I'm going to turn sideways so you can see everything we do. And you can either sit on your shins, and this is where you could have a block under the pelvis, or you could start in a cross-legged seat. Which one would be more comfortable for you now? You can do these seated poses in the beginning in any kind of seat. And then when you are ready, just let yourself take a few breaths to begin the practice with. You could have your hands resting on your lap, resting on your legs, or you could bring one hand onto your chest and the other hand down onto your belly. That might help you to find your breath and feel the breath now in the beginning. With a few exhalations, let your neck and your shoulders soften. Just start to feel the breath moving down and up along the spine. Let your ribs move. Maybe even feel the breath down in the belly area. And as we go through the practice, focus on ease of breath. It might be early in the morning, so don't force your breath to be any deeper than what feels good for you now. We are here to wake up the body. And then if you have your hands on your body, let your hands and arms come down next to the sides. And with your next in breath, lengthen your arms up towards the ceiling and leave your arms there with a few breaths Alternate reaching your right and your left arm up so that you create a bit of an opening along the side body. So reaching the right arm up, reaching the left arm up once more each side. I call this picking the apples. So like you're trying to reach for an apple in the tree. And then bring your arms back down. With your next in-breath, reach your arms forward and then interlace your fingers, turn the palms in front of you and as you exhale, gently push the hands away from the chest and round your upper spine. You could lean your head down and forward, so creating a bit of an opening along the back side of your spine. Take another breath in. And then exhale, open the chest, reach the arms behind you, inhale. And now interlock fingers behind the back. And then with the next in breath, open your chest. So you're kind of making a big fist with your two hands. And now the hands, arms reaching down and back. So now there's maybe a small back bend and also opening across the chest. Another breath in. And then exhale, release the hands, release the arms. Come back to the center. And we'll do that same again. As you inhale, reach your arms up. And we go back to that apple picking. So reach your right arm up. Reach your left arm up. And let your head your neck go into a small side bend again, reaching the right arm up, reaching the left arm up. Once more, each arm, the right arm, the left arm. Then reach both arms up 
And as you exhale, bring the arms again down. As you inhale, reach arms in front of you. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, push the hands away from the chest. You're rounding your neck, your upper back. Head can lean down and forward. Breathe towards the back. Another breath in. And out. Then release the arms. Inhale, open the arms. Reach the arms behind you. So opening the chest. Bring hands together. Interlock fingers behind the back. Next in breath, open the chest. Maybe even looking higher up. So leaning into a small back bend, opening across the chest. Breathing into that chest. And exhale, release the arms. Come back to center. Roll the shoulders. And I will do one more round, but we'll make these movements just a bit bigger. And we're going to start with a bigger side bend. So now, first, as you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, bring the right hand down and exhale, lean into a side bend. So my right hand is on the mat, left arm reaching to the right side. Let your neck, your head lean into that side bend as well. So you're leaning to your right. One more breath in, one more breath out. And then as you inhale, come back to the center and we do same to the other side. So now bring your left hand down, right arm reaching up and exhale. Go a bit further towards your left. So now the opening is on the right side body. I can breathe in, breathe out. And then inhale, come back up to the center and just release your both arms down. Now you can do this next pose from your knees or from a cross-legged seat. Reach hands in front of you. And then exhale, round your back. So if you're sitting cross-legged, you come into a cross-legged forward bend. If you've been sitting on your knees, you'll find yourself in a child's pose. And you can bring your elbows to the mat or you could reach, kind of walk your hands even further forward. Either hands or just fingertips on the mat, allowing the spine to round a bit further. Breathing to the backside, take another breath in and out. And then as you inhale, bring your spine up. Open the chest. And then again, from whichever seat you are in, step hands behind you, opening the chest. And then with the next in breath, lift your chest bone just a bit higher up. So you're still either cross-legged or if you're sitting on the shins, on the knees, you'll find yourself in a mini baby camel pose, but opening through the front, finding that subtle back bend. Take another breath in and out. And then inhale, come back to the center. Roll the shoulders, open the chest. And we're going to move into downward dog. So Bring yourself onto hands and knees. You can put your block aside, tuck the toes under and lift yourself into your downward dog. Just allowing that nice opening along the backs of the legs. We've been seated for quite a long time. Let yourself move your legs. Stepping from one foot to the other. Moving the hips from side to side. Maybe turning head from side to side as well. 
And here, opening through the chest. This might be a big stretch in the shoulder area. Also trying to find a bit of what we call the axial extension in the spine. So trying to create length in the spine by pulling the pelvis up, letting the heavy head drop down. So as if you're creating space between the vertebra of your spine. You might even imagine there's someone pulling the pelvis away from your hands, away from your head. Take another breath in and out. You can keep that micro movement going on. And then from here, we are going to step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. We're gonna say hello to a dragon. So step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and let your left knee come down to the mat. Now you could walk your right foot even further out to the side of the mat. And I'm gonna kind of roll onto the outer edge of the right foot. I feel like it gives a bit more space in my hip pelvic area, but you can keep your foot planted if that feels better. But we come into the winged dragon. So you can let your right knee turn a bit out to the side and just let yourself rock a bit from side to side. Saying hello to the hips, the pelvic area. Maybe there's a bit of opening at the front of that left hip thigh. And opening through the chest as well. See how that would feel. Take another couple of breaths in and out. But you can keep that movement going on. Then from here, we're gonna go into another side bend. So we're gonna turn into a mermaid pose. Leave your left hand on the mat under the left shoulder and then start to turn towards the long side of the mat. You can walk your right foot in front of the pelvis and turn the left foot toes towards the long side of the mat. So I'm gonna drop my left hip onto the mat but I keep pressing down through that left arm. If keeping the right foot on the mat doesn't feel good, you can also turn so that you kind of close the right hip, the right knee comes closer to the mat. But here we are looking for some opening now along the left side body. And you could flex your left ankle. That might change how the pose feels. Just a couple of breaths here in and out, but really trying to get to that left side. Some people find this is quite nice for the QL muscle to open it here in the lower back, but a bit on the side of the body. Good, and then we're gonna continue from here into a seat. So turn towards your left foot into a seat and keep your right foot on the outside of that left leg. We're gonna hug the right knee with the left arm, step the right hand behind the pelvis, and then continue to twist towards the right side. So we find now a twist for the spine. That's been the last spinal movement we've missed in this practice. And just keep breathing here. It could be quite gentle twist. So don't push, don't pull with the arms. Take a couple more breaths and let the breath help the spine in that twist. And the hips, the pelvic area can twist as well. So no, no squaring the pelvis here. And then after those couple of breaths, we start to twist back. So release the twist. And we're gonna go back into downward dog. So bring hands on the mat, lift your pelvis up. And then we could move here a bit again. Maybe walking from one foot to the other. Maybe you find that axial extension again, reaching the pelvis up. And we'll go into the dragon, the winged dragon, on the other side. We're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. And you can slide your right foot further back. You can bring the right knee down to the mat. 
and maybe even walk the left foot further out to the side. You can let the left hip kind of rotate open. Again, I'm going to even roll the left foot slightly off the mat so the weight is just on the outer edge of that left foot. And then find a bit of movement, some gentle movement to create some opening around the pelvic area. This side might feel quite different, so maybe, maybe the movements need to be a bit different. See how that right hip, the front of the hip feels here. And keep the neck, keep the shoulders as soft as possible. We'll start to move towards the mermaid side bend. So now I'll leave the right hand under the right shoulder. And then I start to turn towards the long side of the mat so that I walk the left foot somewhere in front of the pelvis. I turn the right foot toes towards the long side of the mat. And I quite like to flex that extended leg, leg ankle, but of course that's your choice. But now looking for some opening on the right side body. And again, if keeping the left foot on the mat doesn't feel good, you can also close the left hip, bring the left knee, maybe not onto the mat, but closer to the mat. Where do you feel that there is that opening along the right side body? See how much you want to press the right shoulder down. Take a couple more breaths in and out. And again, some movement is very welcome. I think it sometimes, quite often actually helps to create more release and opening than trying to stay still. And then let's travel into that seated twist. So continue turning towards your feet, towards your legs. Now left foot stays on the outer side of the right leg. Hug the left knee with your right elbow, right arm, and then left hand behind you. And continue opening chest towards the left. Maybe you turn the head, but see how the neck feels. You could also look towards your feet. But you can still keep turning your chest to the left. And again, just focus on the breath, keeping shoulders soft, not pushing, not pulling too much. Be gentle. And let's take another breath in and out. And then we start to release the twist. And now we'll again turn the same way, but bring yourself onto hands and knees. I think that was enough of downward dogs. Bring yourself onto hands and knees and then lean into child's pose. So lean the pelvis towards the feet. And really here, find a place where you feel your hands can rest. So you could bend from the elbows, bring hands maybe together behind the neck, behind the head. Or you could bring arms down next to your sides if that feels better in the shoulders. I'll take a few breaths in and out. Breathing. And down and up along the spine, letting the shoulders soften. One more breath in and out. And then from your child's pose, slowly bring yourself up into a seat. Like in the beginning, you can choose your own seat. 
and leave your hips and your back soft. And then as you inhale, reach arms once more up towards the ceiling. Bring palms together and exhale, bring hands together in front of the chest. And as we reach the end of our practice this morning, thank yourself for starting your day by moving your body, taking a few deeper breaths, and just giving yourself that moment to calm down in the beginning of the day. I thank you very, very much for joining in. I do hope you enjoyed the practice. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining in, for checking in together. If you enjoyed the practice, please give the video a thumbs up and also any comments, any questions you have, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there will be loads and loads more yoga videos coming up. Thank you again and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.